I met these people uh, shortly after uh, the downing of PS752. Sure I've been talking to them from time to time, but obviously every time we meet, it reminds me and all of us about the work that we still need to do to provide justice, accountability, and transparency. I realize that in many respects, we are the voice uh, for justice, and I feel humbled that they wanted to come uh, to carry the message here in Ottawa, and we'll continue uh, to fight with them at every step of the way. We know that the suspects and the witnesses and the evidence is in Iran, but we're going to try to do our really best to make sure that we find those who are responsible. We will not accept simple answers. We will not accept to be sidesteps. We will not accept an Iranian regime who would want to get on with it. We're not getting on with it. We want to go to the bottom of things. At every step of the way, we'll be working with the International Coordination and Response Group, where you mentioned the United Kingdom, Afghanistan, Ukraine and Sweden stood up to the Iranian regime. And I had the privilege to chair it to be your voice. And I know it disturbs that writers speak individually, but we're going to stand together with each and every member of the families because that's the way we can have the biggest impact. When we speak, the world should listen. The Iranian regime should listen.